today we're going to talk about fear in the audition room. And I hear a lot of actors still feel a lot of fear when they audition and when we start working together. So it's usually um, some version of like hearing your chest and your heart pound and uh, practically feeling some sweat in, under your armpits and your hands, um, feeling like your voice is off, really um, feeling shaky in a way. Uh, sometimes your knees are shaking, sometimes your voice, your body. So it creates a lot of tension and nerves inside your body. But basically, I think we can summarize the topic by saying that um, it, it really is fear in the stomach and it creates all sorts of reactions in your body. And of course, the problem with that is that when you are overwhelmed by that much fear in the audition room or on set or on stage, you don't have access to your instrument anymore. Um, you're not present. You're not in the moment. You're not in the zone. You're not defending your character. Um, you're really not doing your job anymore because you're kind of in a survival mode, right? So um, it, inevitably, when there's that much fear in you, um, it's gonna be very difficult to book. It's gonna be very difficult to even like your job as an actor or as a performer, because I know some of you are singers and dancers and writers and musicians. So whenever you are performing, even CEOs now, you know, doing this type of work, because when you give a speech, it's the same thing. If fear takes over, there's going to be a complete disconnect with you and your instrument. And the problem is you will not be able to deliver. You'll not be able to perform. You'll be able to be present, to enjoy it, to have, you know, any impact whatsoever. Um, so it really is an issue. And I want you guys to hear that it isn't actually the real problem. It's just the symptom and the reason why you're feeling that, the real problem is not the fear. The real problem is that when you go to an audition and you're in the spirit of auditioning, in the spirit of being tested, of being judged, of trying to get it right, of trying to nail it, you're really dependent on the result. So you're not really present. You're so focused on being good. And by the way, if you haven't downloaded my free um, um, little training, that's called Stop Trying to Be Good So You Have a Chance at Being Great, download it right now. I'll drop a link in the comments and um, you can get it there. Um, so it, it will really take this live further and it will show you the difference between the two behaviors and what you can do to start getting into not trying to be good. So again, the, the symptom is really that you're experiencing fear. It's not the problem. The real problem is the context in which you're approaching the audition or the performance as if it was a test, as if, um, there was a right way to do things, um, as if you had any, you know, right strategy or method in order to book. So how can you be present? How can you defend your character if you're actually thinking about the outcome, thinking about being right, thinking about being good, trying all of that takes you away from your zone, takes you away from the moment that you're in, takes you away from your character. It's, it's actually like hijacking the job. The job is really not about booking. It's not about trying to be good. The job is about bringing your humanity to a character and therefore defending their needs. That's the job. When you try to hijack that process and you try to get to the finish line before doing the job, fear will be there because you have this um, conditioning that has trained you to do things well, to react like others, to behave like others, to feel like others, to um, think like others, to want like other others. That's how we've all been raised, by our parents, by school. So I'm not saying that they're evil, but that's just the place where we've been at in our generation, is we have been 
conditioned to all behave a certain way as if there was a right and a wrong as if we didn't know anything, as if we didn't have any say in our education. We have been told with authority what to do, and if we didn't, there were some consequences. And that's the frame of mind with which, which you walk in when you're coming to audition, or you're playing, or you're, you know, whether you're a musician or a singer, the same thing. When you are presenting your work for others, that is what's happening your old wiring and conditioning goes, wait a minute, there must be a right way to do this. I must please them. If not, there'll be some consequences. And when you're people pleasing, you cannot be present. So again, you might think you have a problem which is called fear. And what I wanna say is that the fear is not the problem. It's only the symptom. The reason why you feel fear is because you're still working on a conditioning that was given to you with authority by your parents and by the school system. So um, um, what I want to say is that what you actually want to be feeling when you stop trying to be good and when you stop trying to be a certain way, stop, stop trying to nail it or get it right or be the best, then you can actually land in your instrument. Then you can actually be present be open, have fun when you act or when you deliver the speech or the song or whatever it is that you do, then you have access to your whole instrument. Then you can defend your character. Then you can go to an audition, not even feeling that you're doing an audition. You can actually be a character, be a person and fight for your needs. You can forget about the audition. And what will happen on the other side is that the casting director or the person who's reading with you, I've heard from clients will say things like, oh my God, I forgot we were even in this room. Because you have been present. You've been in your zone. You've been oh, fully alive and present, fulfilling your character's needs. And that's very different than trying to nail it or trying to get it right. Trying to nail it or trying to get it right is this big. Being alive is this. It's a different ball game. It's a much bigger game than trying to get it right. Because trying to get it right is only people pleasing. Being fully alive is about being you. It's about, about being nothing less than the full version, the full expression of you, your soul, your instrument, everything that you are. And that's why you got into the arts in the first place, right? That's why you're doing the discipline, the artistic discipline that you chose to do. You're not doing it because you want it to be right. And yet that can, you know, definitely short circuit yourself. So again, um, what is the first step that you can do in order to pursue this and in order to be completely, fully open, alive, vibrant and in the zone and not you know, struck and frozen by fear, download the um, free training that I have that's called um, Stop Trying to Be Good So You Have a Chance at Being Great. 